Um, anyway, Dr. Ian's here today to talk about allergy season, because of course it's that time of year. Uh, so he's got kind of like an allergy survival guide. The first thing I wanted you to speak to um, is that I didn't develop allergies until I was 40. Yes. I didn't even know you could get allergies, you know what I mean? But are allergies something that can develop at any point in your life? 100%. People think you're always born with allergies, and most people are. But as you grow older, uh, you can actually get allergies. There's something called your major histocompatibility complex, MHC, and that can change, and it makes you allergic to things that you weren't as a kid. I have an allergy to shellfish, for example, mm -hmm. and I didn't have it as a child, but I got it when I got older, uh, and that's just, that just happens. So you have to always be mindful that just because you weren't allergic before, you could be allergic to something now. Yeah, like uh, when I was a little girl, we lived in Cape Cod, and I would eat every type of seafood. Now if I have lobster, for instance, maybe I have developed an allergy because it makes my whole chest red, yep, and little, real hot. Real hot, sometimes you get some tingling yeah, yeah. In, in your lips, so you have to be careful of that. But Funny. if you're doing your food, you always want to choose chicken, over something like red meat because of something called transoleic acids. Huh. And there's a study that came out that showed the transoleic acids that are typical mostly in dairy products and meats tend to actually um, flare up. Aggravate your allergies. Your hay fever in particular, yes. Yeah, you're outside, you're covered in pollen, and you're loading up on steak, you're gonna be a hot mess. <laughs> <laughs> That's one way to say it. Yeah. Uh, and then also, you know, color is always good, I like to say. Uh, color is full of antioxidants, and so antioxidants are very you important. You always say this, eat yes. a rainbow. That's right, right. eat a rainbow. <clears throat> so they're good for anti-inflammatories. Also, omega-3s are important. Oh, uh, fish oil. Fish oil, omega-3s, you can do it in pill, you can do it in liquid Not form. Not so much fun to burp up, but very good for you. <laughs> <laughs> right? No, Fish that's burps. true. That's, that's they true. They are not cool, man. <laughs> no, they're not. <laughs> and they're nasty tasting and smelling. <laughs> um, things like muesli uh, could be important. Uh, you want whole grains, so whole grains can be very helpful uh, as far as being anti-inflammatory. And I assume stay away these from... These are the things we stay away from. All right. these packaged Processed ingredients, things. processed right. ingredients. I know alcohol, you're not going to be happy. I can hear the booze already about it, but... You may want to modify your diet. You the ain't most... modifying the wine out of my diet for six months a year, Ian. You know me. Yeah, I know you. But listen, the mo I want to end by saying the most important thing is that no two people are the same when it comes to allergies. Know your triggers, avoid your triggers, and then always do not be afraid to seek help with your doctor because uh, having a flare-up can be really bad. Thank you, Ian. I love right. you.